And away from that, the Minister of Labour, Employment and Productivity in Kiruka Oyejota has urged all private employment agencies to stick to standard practice of fair recruitment. The Minister made the appeal on Thursday at the Employers Association of Private Employment Agencies Conference employment held in Lagos. Of Details in this report. Stakeholders in employment and recruitment of workers of Nigeria converged on Lagos to witness the birth of Employers Association for Private Employment Agencies of Nigeria. Speaking at this conference, the Minister of Labor, Employment and Productivity in Kiruka, Oyejocha, though represented by a director in the ministry, John Oyama, describes EPN evolution as a giant stride to achieving fair recruitment in Nigeria. On his part, Dr. Dr. Olufemi Ogulowo said private employers play a primary role in employment agency, insisting that Nigeria must have decent jobs. It is our firm hope and expectation that you will use your new status to contribute meaningfully to labor administration in Nigeria, especially promoting decent work and industrial peace and harmony in the country. Yeah. You know, there are so many things that have happened and in that progress in this sector, and we will begin to address them. We must have compliance, and compliance starts with the kind of contract that we engage with the principals. We must have decent job, because that is the mantra. And decent job cannot mean dead-end jobs, where people are put in our source functions, but that's it, there is no growth, there is no path. The Ministry of Labor. Now that you have formed EPN, now that you are having this conference discussing and having ratified the Convention on Private Employment Agencies, I think it's in the interest of Nigeria that you notify the ILO formally of some of these things. My experience at the Committee of Experts has shown that the little, little things we do, which we take for granted, are the things they note to show compliance with conventions ratified. With a theme, outsourcing in the 21st century and its challenges, these stakeholders are unanimous in their submission that the time is right to tackle challenges of outsourcing with an appeal to all private employment agencies to stick to standard of fair recruitment. And one of such major challenges is the operation of unlicensed outsourcing agents. Quite a number of them. That is why, in this, because they are not licensed, they can do anything. But the licensed ones among us, they abide by rules and standards set by our regulator, Federal Ministry of Labor and International Labor Organization. So they must comply. Fair practices and the promotion of ethical standards. A noble body that the interest of the workers should be very, very paramount. NLC. We are going to grind and ask with some company. By next week, we'll be picketing a company. Because a worker, right on duty, slumped and died. How much is the salary of that worker? 26,000 naira. No health insurance, no known any uh, form of any gratification, compensation, even after the death of this man. Everybody talks about Japa, right, in Nigeria. But not many people understand how big it is. And it's really huge. It's really, really big. And what we see is just very regular flows of people for a limited number of countries. But if you put on top of that the irregular flows, if you put other countries, if you get to understand also the flows of people for uh, seasonal contracts, you know, temporary ones, then it's really a very, very big number. EPN Secretary Olajidi Afolabi moderates the discussion panel on the theme. The role of EPN is to advocate, regulate, and standardize practices in Nigeria. A worthy of note is that EPN was formerly a Human Capital Providers Association of Nigeria. Adeniki Oweye Ajiboe, reporting for Super Screen News.